Alrighty guys, I'm checking the wall and the tractor and the tractor and the and it's in the HR194 and the HRR260 BYA. Ah That's it. I have thought for the longest time that this thing here has had a oil leak. It doesn't. Huh. It's why well that oil keeps going. Check it again. It's right at the add mark. I've been noticed a little temperature change on the motor. Yeah, we're gonna put some more in there. It's good. We got another. We got a couple bottles of 10W40. We got 10W30 and 40 in the motor. Believe it or not, not very good to mix it, but it doesn't really hurt the motor. Mm. And let me know if I'm being an absolute idiot and tell me if it does. But it actually shouldn't be hurting the motor. Right, need that, right? Alright. What other goodies do I have in here? The chosen one. Oh, what in the heck? Matt, why is it so freaking dirty? Exactly. I don't want any of that stuff there going in my. my I just add, added the oil to it about a month or two ago. So, I'm doing a little 10 to 12 second count. I do not want to put too much oil in here. Let's get it on that full line. Oh, man, it's going to be right on the line. Oh, 
Oh man, couldn't be more perfect. Alrighty. Well, guys, check your oil and add oil when you need. Okay. And guys, my engine actually goes under more temperature than it's really supposed to take. So let's just say on Saturday, I'm gonna add and tell you how many yards I do mow with it on Saturday. Good with that burning on the top of that muffin. Alrighty. So put that down. So how many ounces how many how long do I usually use the lawn tractor here? Well, let me start this up and move it. So let's just say I mow my whole yard with it, right? I don't usually mow it first, maybe last, right? Then imagine I mow my next door neighbor's yard, which is very small, the front yard. So I do that, you know, run it full ball, right? Then I've got a property over here, my aunt and uncle's property. I do the front yard on that. Then there's a property way up over, over there on the other side of the neighborhood. I do front and back. And I drive all between there with the with the tractor. So just imagine um, using well, just you know, maybe using having the tractor going that long. It's not that big of a deal, but you know we're using it a lot. So, me. This weekend, so let's get more rain. Uh, uh, but uh, let's see here. I don't know if I knew that, but yeah, more rain. This mower here, uh, I usually use it if I don't use the John Deere, my yard. Uh, my neighbor's yard across the street and I do mow another four properties with it, including my house. That right there is not gonna have an issue. So the only oh I'm really wanting to check is a Honda because y'all know. I'll start it up for you and show you how long it smokes. It needs a new head. I'm gonna have to go through and replace the head. So that right there. It's just a little bit above the full line as you can tell. It's literally right right there at the tip of my finger, right there at the end. Just right at that end of this thing here. Alrighty. The old lady. Ooh. Let's see how this little girl's gonna do. Oh man, it's absolutely look. This oil on this mower, it is so darn clean. You can't even see the darn thing. So, this right here, looking like it's at the Halfway mark. Alrighty. Good solid reading again. I'm gonna do a head I'm gonna do a head replacement on this mower. Right up at the full line. Alright. Well we're good. I think while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and hook up the trailer and do a, maybe, no oil change on that thing. I'm going to do the power washer.
Right up to full line. It's getting some sediment about right there. You see how that one side's black? Yeah, we're gonna do it. We'll do an oil change on that after we do springtime driveway. Uh, driveway surface cleaning. This year, I'm actually gonna try to do surface cleaning. It's a goal. Um, I need the first, um, this Christmas, I'm going to get a flatbed trailer for this John Deere. So, we're going to haul around push mowers and go a little farther and do surface cleaning. Um, uh, it's basically, alrighty, let me give you the lowdown on that. Alrighty, see you on the next one.